Well, which artist inspired you? What elements and principles of design and postmodern principles did you use? Explain this in detail. How are you going to elicit mood and emotion in your work? You're making an eco art piece. It's not going to be a passive piece. So either you're celebrating the environment or you're bringing out, you know, uh, you're making a statement, like a social justice statement. Why are we inflicting this pain on the environment? environmental fashion piece, I was inspired by the works of Scottish environmental artist Andy Goldsworthy. In nature, Andy works with the aspect of time. He makes art in a forest or near a river and sets it over time, taking pictures as he goes. This inspired my season's dress because it goes through time or seasons. All kinds of them. There's a lion over here too, eh? And this an is eagle that an eagle. going to go right down the center. This is like the focal point of your yeah, work? Yeah, and then this one can go to the left of This it. is like a real show-stopping, I want to wear this to my next cocktail party. Yeah, that's this is exactly amazing. This right is right. the show-stopping art piece. What's going on with it and why are they wrapped like this? Um, so my artist, uh, Roa, he's a Belgian um, street graffiti artist. He focuses a lot on animal cruelty and animal captivity, mm. especially in zoos. So I'm focusing on animal captivity. My art piece is an upcycled handbag made out of groovy girl shoes and dresses. The inspiration for this bag came from the artist Ai Weiwei when he created pieces of art out of old Lego. Much like Ai Weiwei's work, my bag is made out of unwanted toys and reinvented into a piece of art. The artist that inspired me to make my outfit was Roy Stab. The art piece in particular is named Natural Forms. What Roy Stab does is he takes reeds, sticks, and other things he can weave together and make sculptures in the water. He often wades in the water for over two hours using nothing but his hands to make his art. I found this very inspirational, and for my piece I did not use a sewing machine, I did it all by hand. I made a dress, and the top part had over 70 patches sewn onto it. These patches are made of old shirts that no longer fit me and were of no use. Roy Stab takes nothing from the environment, he just makes pre-existing life look beautiful. That is exactly what I did. I took old things and made them new again. I made a piece of artwork called Dead Media that inspired me. He focused on how the past decade has rendered older technology useless. He used VHS tapes because they're so forgotten and are mostly found in untouched cabinets. I wanted to focus more on DVDs and cassettes because they are also very forgotten and were used quite frequently. I made a large skirt with old technology plastered on it. Through my art, I wanted to get the same point across as him. There is not much use for them now, but you should still think of where it's going. I want to give pretty historic technology a new life through my art like him.